The mayor of Ukraine's capital says Russian troops are inching closer to the city. Kyiv is bracing for a 64-kilometer-long convoy of Russian military hardware. Live now to Singaporean Ixchen. He's been living in Kyiv for the past four months with his Ukrainian wife. Ix, the rest of the world is looking at this escalating uh, situation where you are. What precautions are you and your neighbors taking as this conflict continues? Um, really, everyone can feel the tension, but no one is panicking. Um, we have been preparing for this because this is the motto operandi that um, the Putin has repeated. Um, right yesterday, we just had two volunteers who went around different units collecting um, empty wine bottles because um, there will be a Molotov cocktail preparation party. Ix, uh, I saw on social media, your social media, that you've been keeping busy, you've been patrolling the rooftops, you're keeping warm. It's a very cold winter there now. You're keeping warm, drinking hot tea. What are the most pressing challenges, though, that are facing residents like yourself? How are you able to secure uh, supplies regularly, like food and water? Um, we aren't able to, uh, to secure supply regularly because of the curfew. Um, we only go out when it's safe for us to procure. And every everyone that has stocked up as much as they possibly could before we escalated to this point. So I wouldn't say any of, we do not have any urgency right now. There, there are no issues whereby it's urgent. Um, but today, the domestic Wi-Fi started to become unstable. Um, thankfully, the 4G network is still very very stable, which is why we are still having this Zoom conference. Um, other than that, no, that's not. So, Ix, I want to be clear about, you know, where you are right now in your block. I mean, and I don't know whether you've responded to this one before. Are most of your neighbors still in that block? And is the overall mood, uh, what is it like? You said nobody's panicking. You're going to have a, a Molotov cocktail party, as it were. How are people sort of keeping their morale up? Um. We, we, there, there are some vacant units um, within the block. So I would say our block right now, but first of all, they, they have been vacant not before the invasion started because it's, it's still under, undergoing renovation. Um, I would say we are about 40% occupied. Um, but every, every, every neighbor, we still check on each other. We, we go around rounds and make sure everyone is does not have uh, any situation, and we have our own social group where we keep each other updated. We even have a, a play session for all the children to, to gather together at the safest, uh, at, at our main lobby in foyer, where it's safe for all the children to play during uh, during afternoon time to, to help the children distress from from the situation. It's stay safe, and we will continue to check in with you. Singaporean Ixchen there in Ukraine.